Hello friends and family. It is Friday, September 18th. Welcome to our boring meditation stuff. Today I wanted to talk about compound interest <laughs> and a memory I have of sitting around the dining table in my parents' home and my mother was explaining to me the value of um, putting away savings at an early stage, at a young age. And she was performing back of the napkin calculations on compound interest for various amounts, saving for various amounts. And I was really, I don't remember how old I was, maybe um, 14 or something. I had started my first um, after school jobs. And I was really quite amazed um, by her calculations. She was really making uh, a convincing argument for compound interest and for early saving. I don't know that it ever entirely stuck. My, <laughs> my personal capacity for saving is probably much less um, than many of you. But um, the idea of compound interest um, is one that I've actually found myself applying in other contexts in life where there are certain skills where if you acquire them early on, that is a sort of saving to acquire a skill, to understand something deeply, and that your skill and your understanding compounds with time and that you will find that as long as you're persistent, as long as you are patient, um, as with compound interest and saving in a bank or um, in a retirement savings plan or something like that, that you reap much greater benefits down the line um, due to this compounding factor. <clears throat> meditation is very much like that the more you invest and the more consistently you invest at this stage at this early stage where you can say oh, okay I, I am taking this seriously and let me really invest the time and it is a different kind of investment Right? When it comes to a uh, percentage of your paycheck, you can set up some automated routine with your bank and they'll just shave 20% off or whatever it is and put it away in some sort of financial instrument for you and you don't need to think about it anymore. But with meditation, you need to constantly reapply yourself and Regardless of situation, you will need to constantly reapply yourself. Easy situations, difficult situations. Um, at present, maybe most of our situations are a bit difficult in one way or another. Um, but now is the time. Now, <laughs> now is, the, is the most useful time to make that initial investment in meditation. Assuming you're convinced of its benefits, right? And similarly, you'll have to go through the, um, the exploratory exercise. So you'll have to try meditation for a few weeks or a month and see if it's of value to you. Um, in the same way that my mother sat me down at the dining room table and showed me in no uncertain terms, mathematical terms, that compound interest is valuable in the long term. You can see that meditation is valuable in the short term, that yes, I, I gain some benefit from this activity here and now, today, and next week, and next week. And maybe even within the scope of a month, you may find yourself seeing this compounding factor. You know, take some notes, journal your experience a little bit, and you'll see perhaps that by week four, 
things have gotten much easier than they were in week one, or maybe they're more interesting. Maybe they're more difficult, but maybe they're difficult in new and, uh, and more challenging ways rather than just being this kind of activity of beating your head against the wall. Oh, sorry, that's my alarm. That's, <laughs> that's actually a meditation alarm. I'm supposed to be meditating right now. So I will stop. <laughs> I will stop talking about this. Um, and I'll leave you with those thoughts. Um, I know a couple of you are accountants and bankers. And so maybe that, that will resonate with you. I'm not sure. Um, savings or no savings. Meditation or no meditation, I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves. I hope everyone's taking good care of their family. And I will see you all tomorrow for the Saturday edition. Goodbye. <laughs>